Jesus, Lord, we thank you for all that you have been doing we, in all our Monday prayer meetings. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your divine provision. Thank you for your divine protection. Thank you for everything you have done for us, for all the ways that you have intervened in our affairs, for your divine plan, for every soul connected to this program. Father, we give you praise. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. In tonight's prayer meeting, manifest your power and your glory. In the name of Jesus, do what only you can do in our life. In the mighty name of Jesus, at the end of this program, let your name be glorified. Put the devil to shame. Let the blessing that you have a portion for us in this program be our portion. Thank you, Holy Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Right there where you are, I want you to sing this song with me loud and clear to say thank you to God for all that He has done in the past, for what He's doing currently, and for what He intends to do in the future. Give Him praise. Thank Him from the bottom of your heart. Say thank you to Him. Thank your Father. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. For the things you have done for me. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. Oh my God, I am saying thank you. For the things you have done for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. For me on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea, on the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. My Lord is my portion, the land of the living. My Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion, the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion, the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. The wall of Jericho fall down flat. The wall of Jericho fall down flat. As the children of God are praising the Lord, the wall of Jericho fall down flat. The wall of Jericho fall down flat. The wall of Jericho fall down flat. And the children of God are praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fall down flat. The wall of Jericho fall down flat. Say, wall of Jericho fall down. As the children of God that praising the Lord. The walls of Jericho fall down flat. Say, my heaven must open up. My heaven open up by fire. My heaven must open. My heaven open up by fire. 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 Ah. Obara ya koko mi mire. Obara ya koko mi. Obara jizo koko mi mire. De koko mi. Obara jizo koko mi mire. De koko mi ra. Thank you, Father. Alagbara no lorun mi Alagbara ni Jesus wa 
Oba to la ye ate kure ni kawo ko ma so ti ko de se alagara giga alagara lo lo wa alagara ni jesu wa o oba to la ye ate kure ni kawo ko ma so ti ko de ma so ti ko de se o ko ma so ti ko de se ah osana 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 ida aye
Are you ready? Any power that wants me to end this year in tears and pain, die by fire in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants me to end this year in tears and pain, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants me to end this year in tears and shame, die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Kill the power. Kill the power in Jesus. Then we pray. Thank your Father. I pray you shall not end this year in shame. You shall not end this year in tears. By the power and the blood of Jesus, it shall be well with you. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. Tonight, in our prayer meeting, praying for divine provision, our series of prayers that we have been praying concerning God bringing divine provision into our life, Tonight, I'm looking at disappoint your disappointment. Disappoint your disappointment. Disappoint your disappointment. And briefly, let me quickly read from Mark chapter 10, from verse 17 to 22. Mark 10, 17 to 22. And when he was gone forth into the way, there came one running and kneeled to him. And ask him, Good master, what shall I do that I may inherit eternal life? And Jesus said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one that is God. Say, Thou knowest the commandments do not commit adultery, do not kill, do not steal, do not bear false witness, defraud not, honor thy fathers and mother. And he answered and said unto him, Master, all this have I observed for my youth. And Jesus beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. Look at verse 22. And he was sad at this saying, and he went away grieved, for he had Great possession. Beloved, this story of the rich young man that has great possession, he went away disappointed. He was disappointed. Beloved, the word disappointed means not meeting the target. It means to disallow. The word disappointment means, disappointed means, to defeat one's hope. That word disappointed, it means vexation that accompany failure. But I want you to understand this very, very well. A man called John the Baptist, very powerful man of God, when he was in prison, unfortunately, at a point in his life, he became disappointed. And he called his disciples to go and meet Jesus Christ. To ask him again, are you the one that should come or do we look for another person? Why? He was disappointed. Totally disappointed. Because he said, ah, why is it that Jesus is here? Jesus has come and yet they have arrested him. That they put him in prison. Beloved, when Jesus had his words, he said, go back and tell him. That blind can see, lame can walk. Say, Blessed is he who is not disappointed in me. That was the reply, the response of Jesus. Beloved, on earth, disappointment started with Satan. When Jesus came to this world, the Bible says, He disappointed the works of the devil. That is, He disappointed the works. And the works of the crafty, the crafty, that's the devil, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I pray that every evil enterprise against you shall be disappointed today. In the name of Jesus, that rich young man, he came to Jesus, but he went back disappointed. Jesus told him the blunt truth, but he ran away from him and he embraced hellfire. That will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. Meaning that a man can live in the midst of water 
and yet still be testing. Years ago, an occultic man gave his life to Jesus and he talked about five groups of people in the church that they normally deal with. Number one, those with witchcraft spirits. Two, those that are sleeping in the church. Instead of listening to someone, they are sleeping. Three, those that are in the church for natural gain. All they come at Jesus, they are looking for Jesus, the bread giver alone, and the fish giver. They don't want any other, any other thing else. They are looking for natural gain. That's why they come to church. Number four, those that come to church with unclean hearts. Their heart is not clean. They have dirty hearts. Number five, those who are spectators in the field of life. They just come to church to look. You want to look at those that are dressing. Those, uh, the kind of shoes some people are wearing. Clothes some people are wearing. All those things. That's the reason why they come to church. These are the five groups of people that this demonic man said that they normally deal with it. Beloved, the problem is this. He said, some of them will come to church with one problem and they go with many. And that will not be your portion. One thing that gives people like us a very big concern is when an angel comes into the midst of the church and he just touch one or two people and go away. Sometimes he will not touch any in any room. And this is very, very sad. I want you to close your eyes. Say, I shall not be disappointed by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall not be disappointed by the power in the blood of Jesus. I shall not be disappointed by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at Isaiah chapter 16 verse 12. Say, and it shall come to pass when it seems that Moab is weary on the high place. And that he shall call to his sanctuary to pray, but he shall not prevail. That will not be your portion. Moab went to the house of God, and he went back disappointed. Why should a person come to a place of fire, like mountain of fire, and be disappointed? Close your eyes. Say, thou spirit of disappointment, or pray till him alive, die by fire, in the name of Jesus, thou spirit of disappointment, or pray till him alive, die in the name of Jesus, thou spirit of disappointment, or pray till him alive, die by fire, in the name of Jesus, thou spirit of disappointment, or pray till him alive, die in the name of Jesus, thou spirit of disappointment, or pray till him alive, die by fire, in Jesus, name we pray. Beloved, you that fellow that your glory has been captured in your father's house, right there where you are, uh -huh. I command you release now. That's right. Let your glory be released in the name of Jesus. Uh -huh. That's your glory planted at the back of your, your father's compound. Masota Kaporia. Resotonia. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I command the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ to fall upon that glory now. Be resurrected in the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Name we pray. The glory of that fellow in satanic porch, the cordon of darkness, hear the word of the Lord. I speak the word of fire into you. Comfort by fire. In the name of Jesus, by the resurrection power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Comfort. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Beloved, when a man's glory is inside a coffin, death will be after the fellow, and death places. It's not a place that you can find rejoicing. There is a demon in the kingdom of darkness that is called the demon of disappointment. The demon of disappointment. I want you to close your eyes again and say, You demon of disappointment, can't fire, release me and die in the name of Jesus. You demon of disappointment, can't fire, release me and die in the name of Jesus. You Catch fire, release me and die in the name of Jesus. You the man of disappointment. Catch fire, release me and die in the name of Jesus. You the man of disappointment. Catch fire, release me and die. Catch fire, release me and die. Catch fire. That's right. That's right. Command to release you. Yes, be released by the power in the blood. Be released by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank you, Father. Beloved, what are we going to do? Aha, uh -huh. 
to escape and to disappoint our disappointment. Number one, surrender your life to Jesus. It's not negotiable. Two, activate your faith in Christ Jesus. Three, be conscious of your hope in Christ. Our hope is in Christ Jesus. Make sure you are conscious of it. Be conscious of it. Know that your hope is in Jesus Christ and not anything else. Number four, bind and cast out the spirit of disappointment. You bind it and cast it out. Why? Because disappointment is a spirit. And since it is a spirit, you have the right to bind it, to cast it out. Matthew 18, 18 says, Whatsoever that you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever that you lose on this planet earth is loose in heaven. So you have the right to bind it and cast it out of your life. It can go anywhere to be operating, not you. I want you to understand this, beloved. Close your eyes. If you are connected to this program tonight, you are not born again. You have not surrendered your life to Jesus. You say, Pastor, I want to disappoint my disappointment. Lay your hand on your chest and say this after me. Say, Father, I come before you tonight. I know that I'm a sinner. You said, if I should confess my sin and forsake them, you will come into my life. Come into my life, Lord Jesus. Come and take control of my life. As for tonight, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. Write my name in the book of life, God, and put the devil to shame. You say that short prayer with me. Make sure you continue to follow us in this program. I pray for you. The decision you have made today shall be permanent in your life. And you will never go back to your vomit. Shall be well with you. Jesus, name we pray. Right there where you are, I want you to take note of two major things after these prayers. Because we have 21 prayers to pray. If you cannot finish it today, we continue next week until the cup of your joy is full. Right there where you are, I want you to take note of two things. One, expected and unexpected breakthrough will come your way. Two, those that have been rejected before in their place of blessing, all of a sudden, you shall be accepted. Those are the two major things that will happen after this prayer. I want you to pray the way you never prayed before. The Lord dictated these 21 prayers that those who will pray them from their heart will not be disappointed. If we can't finish it today, like I said, we continue next week. You will cry out in this first prayer. Shout with fire and with power. Say anything in my life that wants to disgrace me. Aha. Uh -huh. What are you waiting for? Come out and die. In the name of Jesus. Anything in my life that wants to disgrace me. What are you waiting for? Come out and die. In the name of Jesus. Anything in my life that wants to disgrace me. What are you waiting for? Come out and die. In the name of Jesus. Anything in my life that wants to disgrace me. What are you waiting for? Come out and die. In the name of Jesus, anything in my life that wants to disgrace me, what are you waiting for? Come out and die. In the name of Jesus, come out and die. In the name of Jesus, command them to come out. Command them to come out. That's right. That's right. That's right. Come out and die. That sister, don't have no chance. That brother by there, yes, be released by the power. In the blood, be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. By the power. In the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank your Father. Psalm 18, verse 44 to 45. He said, As soon as the enemy hears me, they shall obey. Strangers have submitted themselves unto me. Strangers have fed away and be afraid out of their close places. Anything planted in any life uh, connected to this program tonight, right there where you are, I command them to disappear. In the name of Jesus, get out, get out, get out from your hiding places. Uh -huh, that's right. From the head, from the stomach, from the womb, from the leg. That's right. From the throat. Out, out, out. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank your Father. In Jesus, name we pray. Shall be second prayer with fire. Say, invisible evil monitor. Follow in the about. Cast fire and die. In the name of Jesus. Invisible evil monitor. Follow in the
me about God fire and die in the name of Jesus, invisible evil monitor, following me about in Qatar. God fire, God fire and die in the name of Jesus, invisible evil monitor, following me about in Qatar. God fire and die in the name of Jesus, invisible evil monitor, follow me about in Qatar. God fire and die in the name of Jesus, God fire and die in the name of Jesus, commander to God fire. That's right, that's right, that's right. That's right. Be separated. Be separated. That sister over there. Yes. I command your separation between you and that invisible evil monitor. That's right. Be separated. Be separated by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank your Father. Say this one loud and clear. The top prayer. Say, I shall arise. Whether the enemy likes it or not, by the power. In the blood of Jesus, I shall arise. Whether the enemy lies it or not, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I shall arise. Whether the enemy lies it or not, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I shall arise. Whether the enemy lies it or not, by the power in the blood of Jesus, I shall arise. Whether the enemy lies it or not, by the power in the blood of Jesus. That's right. That's right. Open your mouth and pray. Aha! Thank your Father in Jesus. Name we pray. The Bible says, uh -huh, the righteous falleth seven times, and he shall rise again. Right there where you are. From whatever point that you are falling, I don't want to know. I command right now. Uh -huh, arise by fire. In the name of Jesus. Arise. Arise by fire. Bounce back by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Many things are happening here, beloved. There are three persons connected to this program. Collecting a letter of testimony. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Thank your Father. Say, evil robe of my father's house that is tying me down to one spot. Break my fire in the name of Jesus. Break the evil robe. Break, 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 break. Uh -huh. That's right. That's right. Evil robe of my father's house tying me down to one spot. Break my fire in the name of Jesus. Evil robe of my father's house tying me down to one spot. Break, break, break my fire. Evil robe of my father's house tying me down to one spot. Break in the name of Jesus. Evil robe of my father's house tying me down to one spot. Break, break, break that evil robe. That sister, don't negotiate. Command it to break. Break, break it, break it, break that rope, break that rope, that evil rope, uh, that is tying you down, let it be broken, 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 that's right, that's right, that's right, break the rope, break the rope of familiar spirit, the rope of occulting power, the rope, uh, that's right, of marine legend, command to break, 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 break to pieces, in the name of Jesus, thank your father, thank you Jesus. Right there where you are singing this song with fire. We are going to repeat that prayer again. Sing it with fire and with power. Babija, oh Babija. Oh Lua Babija, oh Babija. I got a good tire feeding you, oh Babija. Oh Lua Babija, oh Babija. Oh Lua Babija, oh Babija. I got a good tire feeding you, oh Babija. Jada, Babija. Jada, Babija. Jada, Babija. Amen. If you, are, if you don't understand that language, what I'm saying is that uh -huh, evil padlock that the enemy has used to tie me down, oh God, arise and help me to break it. That is what I'm saying. That is the song. Bamija, oh Bamija, oh Lua Bamija, oh Bamija, Agada Bono, tie to the new Bamija, oh Lua Bamija, oh Bamija, Jada Bamija. Oh, Bamija, I got a go to tie up the new Bamija, I got a go to touch off the new Bamija, I got a go to tie up the new Bamija, Jada Bamija, Jada Bamija, Jada Bamija, Jada, Jada Kuro Narami, ah, two, 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 two Kuro Narami, oh, India, one, Jen, Jakuro Narami, oh, do I got Jada, Jakuro Narami, ah, two, two, two. To Kuro Naramio, in the Awaja, Jakuro Narami, Odua Ja Ja Ja. Amen. Say it again loud and clear. Say, evil robe of my father's house that is tying me down to one spot. Break my fire. Break away. Break away from my life. Every rope of darkness. That's right. Every rope of my power. Occultic power. Witchcraft spirit. Right there where you are. Let it be broken. 
Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Open your mouth and pray. Sir. Let that evil rope be broken. Be broken. The rope of many spirits. Aha. That is tying down that sister. That is tying down that brother. Right there where you are. Break. 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 Break in the name of Jesus. Lose your grief. Thank your Father. In Jesus. Never pray. This is the fifth prayer. And I want you to pray from your heart. Get that thing that will move my life forward. Shout it louder than that. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire by force. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire. I catch you by force. In the name of Jesus. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire by force. In the name of Jesus. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire by force. In the name of Jesus. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire by force. In the name of Jesus. That thing that will move my life forward. I catch you by fire by force. In the name of Jesus. I catch you by fire. I catch you by force. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus. Name of prayer. This is number six prayer. And I want you to place your hand close to your mouth as you pray this one. Just place your hand like this, close to your mouth as you pray this one. And I want you to pray with fire and with power. Say, my hands wake up by fire in the name of Jesus. That's why I can hear you. My hands wake up by fire. Wake up by fire. Wake up. 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 That's right. That's right. Command your heart to wake up by the power and the blood of Jesus. Command your heart to wake up. Let it wake up. Let it wake up. Let it wake up. Let it wake up. Let your hand begin to wake up. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Psalm 1 verse 3 says, Whatsoever you lay that hand upon shall prosper. I decree upon your hand, beginning from today, anything you lay that hand upon shall begin to prosper. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you. Right there where you are, shall this last seven prayer the first session of prayer we are praying the seventh one shout it with fire and with power say spirit of disappointment pack your load and get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your load get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your load get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your load get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your load get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your load get out of my life in the name of Jesus spirit of disappointment pack your Lord, get out of my life in Jesus. Name we pray. That's right. Right there where you are. I command the spirit of disappointment to get out of the hiding places. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy into your life. Right there where you are. Places that have been rejected, you shall be accepted. In the name of Jesus, position of honor, position of respect. That none of your family members have ever attained, you shall get there. In the name of Jesus, every project that has started and you have abandoned by the power in the blood of Jesus, receive the power to complete them. In the name of Jesus, places where you have not been known, places where you have not, they have not known you, I decree by the decree of heaven. They shall call you for your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus, people that you have never met before, they shall go out of their way to do you good. In the name of Jesus, the kind of money that you have never counted before in your life, right there where you are, receive it by fire. Uh -huh. The riches of the Gentiles, receive it. In the name of Jesus, the riches of the ungodly, receive it. In the name of Jesus, the Lord said I should tell everyone connected to this program that unexpected and expected breakthrough shall locate you this week. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go a little bit further. Beloved, let's go a little bit further. A little bit further and I want you to listen very very carefully to me 
Before we go into our next prayers, listen very, very carefully. If you must not go back disappointed, if you are the type that you have made up your mind that you can't come to God and go back disappointed, then listen carefully to me. Disappointment has the power to deal with man. Spirits like murder, envy, suicide, they are all agents of disappointment. The spirit of disappointment will create a wound in the heart and it will only leave one thing, which is sorrow. And that will not be your portion. Look at Proverbs chapter 5 verse 22. Say, his own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be held with the cause of his sin. Beloved, if you are praying the prayer we are praying, and you are not sweating, I beg to tell you that you have not been praying. Because this kind of prayer is, you can't pray it without sweating. You can't pray it without sweating. I want you to understand this very, very well. What a powerful statement here. In Proverbs 5.22 Say if you have a good purpose in life Something can disappoint it And that's what I want you to understand Good counsel Accepted will move your life forward Stagnancy can come from two sources Number one From yourself Two From Satan Those are the two sources If you reject good counsel you cannot be excused from disappointment. I want you to understand this very, very well. There are 10 counsel I'm going to give to you. And I want you at this point to get a pen and a paper to write it down. 10 counsel I'm going to give to you. If you don't want to be disappointed, write down those 10 counsels. Number one, it's in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So for he that cometh to God must believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Today, you have connected yourself to this program. It's because you have diligently decided that you must seek the Lord. And I pray that you will never Go back disappointed. In the name of Jesus. Faith is God said it. I believe it. And that settles it. No other opinion again. No matter the situation, beloved. If you apply this principle, you shall not be disappointed. Be disappointed. Because God is too faithful to fail. Decide. To exalt the word of God above your situation. A man did not have leg. He did not have leg that he can put shoe on it. But he came to the man of God for prayers. And immediately after the prayer, the moment the man of God released words into his life, he quickly rushed straight from that place to a place where they sell shoes. He said, give me shoe of so-so size. They gave it to him. Those people selling the shoe, they were wondering, say, ah, this man did not have leg. Where is he going to put the shoe? He ran away from them. He took the shoes and went home. When he got home, he put his leg, first his leg that is without leg, that leg that has no, you know, foot, he forced it inside that shoe. And by the time he started to force it into the shoe, the leg began to grow inside that shoe. Why? Because of the words of the man of God. The leg grew inside the shoe and it became somebody with a leg. That was his testimony. If he had uh, said, okay, they have prayed and the leg is not coming out and he did nothing about, he did not exercise his faith, the leg will still remain the same. I want you to understand this very, very, very well. I decree any power assigned to kill your faith in Christ Jesus shall die violently in the name of Jesus. I want you to know that 
Whatever we say to you as a pastor to your destiny, if it does not meet your faith in your heart, it will not be profitable at all. Listen to this. Man of God said to a brother, said, by this time tomorrow, you shall become a millionaire. The brother did not believe. The brother that came with him that was beside him, he said, if this word that this man is saying is from this man of God, I claim it. He claimed it. Beloved, to the amazement of that brother, he eventually became a millionaire. I'm praying for somebody here. Powers assigned to give your faith shall die by fire in the name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life before the close of this week. You shall have great testimony. You shall have great testimony in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive that testimony in the name of you shall give testimony. You shall give it. You shall give it in the name of Jesus. Number two counsel I'm going to give to you is that you must focus on Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, not the Son of Man. Don't focus on the Son of Man. Psalm 146, verse 3, it says, Put not your trust in princes, nor the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. In fact, the Bible says, Vain is the help of man. Don't put your trust in man. That's what he's saying. So every time you come to church or you connect to a program like this and you are standing before God, your focus must be on Jesus, not the pastor. I want you to understand this very, very well. Number three counsel I will give to you, if you are writing it down, you must confess any known sin in your life. Sin, somebody said, is success in nothing. So because sin is an enemy of God, is the enemy that will prevent God from moving close to you to bless you. Before sin can be forgiven, you must confess it first. Number four cancer I'm going to give to you is that you must cooperate with the Holy Spirit. How? You must be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. He might decide to move quietly or loud. You must be sensitive to it. Close your eyes. Say, blessing that we move my life forward. I catch you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Blessings that we move my life forward. I catch you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Blessings that we move my life forward. I catch you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Blessings that we move my life forward. I catch you by fire. In the name of Jesus. Blessings that we move my life forward. I catch you by fire. I catch you by fire. I catch you by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Beloved, <laughs> number five, counsel I'm going to give to you. You can write it down. You must release that which does not belong to you, which is in your care. I repeat, you must release that which does not belong to you, which is in your care. Now, if you don't release those things, they become a snare and a voice which will say no to God's provisions for your life. Remember, we are praying for divine provision. The kind of provision that comes from God, not man. A brother was looking for contracts at his friend's office. The friend said to him, five minutes ago, the management of this company they had just decided not to give you the contract again. Beloved, so he started to pray. And the Holy Spirit said to him, Hey, hey, hey. So he said, Go and meet the owner of the egg and confess and tell him that you have eaten his egg. Beloved, immediately, that he did that, the friend called him again to congratulate him that his contract has been approved. Beloved, that first certificate that you are using to work, the marriage 
that you are done without dowry. The tithes and offering that God says it belongs to Him. That if you uh, hold it with you, you are a robber. You have stolen from Him. Uh -huh. And you are still holding on to it. It may be the cause of your financial failure and your business failure today. I want you to understand this very, very well. Some people will never receive outstanding breakthrough unless they do what we call restitution. I want you to understand this very, very well. Number six, counsel I'm going to give to you. You must forgive everyone that has offended you. No matter what they have done to you, forgive them. Because if you follow this counsel I'm giving to you, you will be amazed at what will happen to you within this short space of time that we are praying these prayers. Right there where you are. I think I will close here and continue next week. Because I want us to pray the closing prayers. Please pray this next seven prayers with merciless violence. Pray them with reckless abandon. Pray with enough is enough spirit. Behave like somebody who is mad in the spirit realm. If you pray this prayer the way everyone wants you to pray it, the power of God will touch you wherever you are. Doors that has been closed against you shall be opened. Expected and unexpected breakthrough shall overtake you and it will stay permanently with you. Right there where you are. I want you to shout this first one with fire. Say, strong man attached to my life to cut me down. This is your judgment. Catch fire and die. In the name of Jesus, strong man attached to my life to cut me down. This is your judgment. Catch fire and die. In the name of Jesus, strong man attached to my life to cut me down. This is your judgment. Catch fire and die. In the name of Jesus, strong man attached to my life to cut me down. This is your judgment. Catch fire and die. Strong murder, attack of my life, to cut me down. This is your judgment. Cut fire and die. Cut fire and die. Cut fire and die. That's right. Release the judgment of God upon every strong man. Attack to your life. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That sister, I separate you from the strong man of your father's house. The strong man of your mother's house. Aha. Uh -huh. I command divine separation between you and the strong man. In the name of Jesus, be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. By the power. In the blood of Jesus Christ. That's right. Thank your Father. Right there where you are. Get yourself ready again. Shall the second one with fire. Say, evil clock. I say to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break in the name of Jesus. Evil clock. I say to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break, 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 that's right. I smash you to the ground. Break, break my fire. Evil clock. I start to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break in the name of Jesus. Evil clock. I start to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break in the name of Jesus. Evil clock. I start to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break in the name of Jesus. Evil clock. I start to move my life backward. I smash you to the ground. Break, 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 break that evil clock. That's right. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. Let it be broken. In Jesus, then we pray. That's right. I want to believe you are praying. Shall this third one with fire? You that fellow that they stole a precious thing from you in your dream. Please pray this next prayer with merciless violence. Because heaven shall collect it back for you. In the name of Jesus, say, spiritual and robbers. In my sleep, your time is up. Be paralyzed and die. In the name of Jesus, spiritual and robbers. In my sleep, your time is up. Be paralyzed and die. In the name of Jesus, spiritual and robbers. In my sleep, your time is up. Be paralyzed and die. In the name of Jesus, spiritual and robbers. In my sleep, your time is up. Be paralyzed and die. In the name of Jesus, spiritual and robbers. In my sleep, your time is up. Be paralyzed and die. In the name of Jesus, every man in our robber, our cultic and robber, yes. Familiar spirit and robber in your sleeper, right there where you are. I command them to be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. In the name of Jesus, lose your hold. Lose your upon that sister. Lose your upon 
brother, brother. That's right. That's right. Lose your hold. Lose your hold. In Jesus. Name we pray. I pray for you. That whatever the enemy has stolen in your sleep, by the power in the blood of Jesus, receive them back in tenfold. In the name of Jesus, receive them back. Receive it back. Receive it back. Receive it back. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. For in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Lastly, I want you to sing this song wherever you are. This song actually is saying that whose report will you believe? He said, I will believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am free. His report says, victory. I want you to understand this very, very well. A big question is asked here. And I'm going to throw that question to you. Whose report will you believe? Is it the report of the experts? Is it the report of the doctors? Is it the report of the HR that wants to help you to get a job? That is telling you that uh, you are not qualified? Is it the report of your mockers? Those that are telling you that you cannot achieve anything good in life? Is it the report of your enemy that does not want to, you to be alive at all? Not to even do good in life? Is it the report of Satan that has threefold agenda according to John 10, 10 to steal, to kill, and to, the, to, to destroy? Is it the report of God, our Lord Jesus Christ, that has come to destroy the works of the devil that I want to believe? Is it the report which says in John chapter, John chapter 2 that God said, Beloved, I wish above all things that you will prosper and be in hell. He said, even as your soul too will prosper. Which of the reports are you going to believe? It's a big question you need to answer by yourself. You will sing this song with me. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am free. His report says, Victory. He whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. Whose report will you believe? I will believe the report of the Lord. His report says, I am free. His report says, I am free. His report says, Victory. Amen. Beloved, I close this meeting at this point. We we'll continue next week. I want you to continue to follow us in this program and concentrate on the prayers we are praying. And your life will not remain the same. Everyone will release divine provision into your life. In the name of Jesus, spiritual supply from heaven shall be your portion. In the name of Jesus, you will never lack, you will never beg, you will not borrow, you shall let to many nations. In the name of Jesus, the God that is served on this mountain, God of Dr. Daniel Lukoya, we arise and surprise you. In the name of Jesus, the cup of your joy shall be full. In the name of Jesus, in life, you will not regret. But you shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. You shall be happy. You shall be happy. In the name of Jesus, it shall be well with you and your entire family. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to remind you that tonight we are having crossover VG, which is connecting to divine blessings of God, to supernatural blessings. And that will be your portion tonight. As you join us in our crossover VG, in the name of Jesus Christ. Close your eyes where you are. The Bible says, they that come to God, they know that he is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. Close your eyes and ask God for three things before we close. Right there where you are, just begin to talk to the Lord.
Jesus. Then we'll pray. We put the seal of the blood of Jesus Christ for that prayer. There shall be spirit performance. And the name of Jesus alone shall be glorified. Thank you, Father. Jesus, name we pray. Let's hear the grace and fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us days of our life, and we shall dwell in and praise God forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Jesus cover us with your blood and love as we go in your name, in your name. Mighty God cover us with your fire and power.